the listening aspect, I want to I want to stay on this for a little while and talk about listening because people don't do this enough, not just in the sales process, but to cut customers, right? So you have to listen empathetically. You have to listen like you actually care because you are going to solve their problem. That is how you make a sale is by providing extreme amount of value by solving a problem that they have. Their problem could be not enough revenue. Their problem could be reliability. Their problem could be pricing. Generally, it's not really pricing. When people are not doing something, believe it or not, most of the time, it's not because of pricing. It may not be easy enough for them. They may not have the resources time-wise to do it. But this listening part is everything. They, they will literally give you every answer to any rebuttal in your sales process right here in this process. So it's super important. Yeah, most people are too busy thinking about what they're going to say next and they're not actually listening. Yeah, and then what happens is, and I don't want to go over this because I have some good points, like it does a couple of things. It lets them know exactly what you need. It shows them, it also shows them that you're listening, but you can also start to speak their language. So one of the, one trick in communications is what they call the mirror effect, right? So if you're, if someone comes up to you and is like, yo, buddy, and you respond, yo, buddy, there's a mirror effect there that shows that you speak their language, as opposed to if somebody comes up to you and say, good afternoon, sir, and you respond the same way, good afternoon, sir, right? Yeah. This, this speaking their language, this mirroring of them, again, brings another level of comfort, right? They can, you can communicate better. So that mirroring, it, this section here, this section that says let's talk, that's what this does. That's part of what this does is it allows the, the, the person to understand where they're coming from, understand all their pain points, understand exactly why they're going to do it, understand how they communicate, right? Let's say a person talks a little bit slower. I happen to talk fast, right? But if a client, if I'm talking to a potential customer and they're talking at a slower rate, I begin talking at a slower rate, yeah. right? To mirror them. That way they feel comfortable. That's the whole point here. People buy and people partner with people that they are comfortable yeah, a lot of us have experienced talking with someone where they're just like, you're not on the same page, right? They're like yeah. talking a complete different language, it seems like, and you don't feel comfortable. And if you don't feel comfortable, you're not going to buy or sell, whatever the case may be. How about this? How many, how many times have you talked to someone who doesn't let you talk? Yep, exactly. You know, it, then you're, you don't feel comfortable either, right? If all you heard was their voice. Yep. Yep, hundred percent. People like to talk, like to talk about themselves, and they really like it when people listen and make them feel important. Yeah, 